welcome back to Hannah's Harvest. Today we're out by the chicken coop and when I got backyard chickens it was seriously a dream come true for me. But despite all of my excitement and research and planning, there was a lot that I didn't know. Today I'm hoping to give you information that will help you make an informed decision on whether or not you should get backyard chickens. I'm excited to show you the chicken coop and the girls that we have here and give you more information about backyard chicken keeping. Before you get chickens, make sure that you know your city's guidelines. In our city, we're allowed to have up to four hens but no roosters within city limits. It's also really important that you start by building your chicken coop. Learn from our mistake. We were so excited to get chickens that we jumped in and brought them home without a coop to put them in. They stayed in a dog crate with straw in the bottom while we built their coop. If I could do it again, I would build the coop first and make sure that I'm happy with it before getting chickens. Since we live in a rental property, we wanted our coop to be able to move around the yard. I did hours of research and settled on our version of a chicken tractor. We needed it to be sturdy enough to keep predators out and light enough for one person to move. I wanted the hens to have plenty of space, so we decided to only keep two hens at a time in this coop. In order to make our coop predator proof, we used hardware cloth instead of chicken wire. It's actually a common misconception that chicken wire is for keeping predators out. It's actually made to keep chickens in and can be easily broken by dogs, raccoons, and other predators. We also used screws and washers to reinforce the hardware cloth. Staples are not enough to keep predators out, and we used zip ties where the cloth overlaps. Another important step was making sure the latches on the coop were predator proof. And all of this might seem like overkill, but with staples alone, our dog was able to easily break into the coop and kill our chickens. We learned the hard way that it's worth it to take time to keep the coop as secure as possible. On that note, it's really important to think about how your other animals and even children will react to having chickens. Our dog now loves our chickens and is really calm and peaceful around them, but it's taken us a long time to get her there. Also, because we live in Arkansas where it's hot and humid in the summer and cold in the winter, we made sure our design had plenty of airflow in the nesting area. We also added this roost for fun and the girls actually use it a lot. Another really important aspect of our coop design was our feeder and waterer and we're really happy with the ones that we chose. They're both hanging from the top of the coop, so they're easy to unhook and refill. And this waterer has a cup design. It works really well because when the girls push on the little yellow tab, the water releases, and because it's up off the ground, it really keeps it clean, and so we don't have to clean out the water very often. We just make sure it stays full every day. And our feeder is a metal hanging feeder and it also stays really clean and it's easy to refill. For food, we use an organic backyard laying hens pellet and the chicken food that we buy also comes ground, but we find that there's a lot less waste with the pelleted form. And the last part of our coop I wanted to mention is that we do have handles on the end to make it easier to move. The biggest predictor of your success with backyard chickens comes down to their daily care. Our hens are the happiest when we move the coop and clean out the nest box every day. I also check their food and water each day and give them a few sunflower seeds or garden veggies as a treat. Every time I clean their coop, I rake up the leftover poop. You don't have to do this step, but it's really important to me that the yard doesn't smell like a barnyard and also our dog will eat and roll in any leftover poop, so I have to be very diligent to pick it up. As far as farm animals go, backyard chickens are actually really easy. 
But there's a lot more to it than just picking up the eggs every morning. It's important before you get chickens to make sure that you have the time to invest in their daily care. For our nest box, we use wood chips. I find that it's easy to clean up and replace. And I pick up the poop daily and then every month or so I replace all of the chips. Chicken keeping isn't a glamorous job. It can be smelly and noisy at times, but they're also a relatively easy and fun way to get into having farm animals in a small space. Between the cost of food and bedding, I don't know that they pay for themselves with their eggs, but we love having them, so that makes it all worth it.